Hello guys, welcome to the sixth episode of the Build a Web API in ASP.NET Core 3.1 and consume it using an MVC client also in ASP.NET Core 3.1. I shall be upload, uploading one video every day from Monday to Friday. Now for viewing the completed application in action with a few of the functionalities, please watch the introduction video part one with link in this description. In my previous episode, I walked through the creation of the customer model. In this episode, I will create the order model which will map the order table in the database. I will build the project from scratch and walk you through the code explaining everything in the process. All the episodes will be in continuation from the previous ones and so is the building of the code base. Hence, it is highly recommended to be up to date with all the previous episodes before viewing this one. The essential links and the SQL scripts you will find in the video description. I also request you to view the entire video in all of these episodes to get the best out of them. As always, every suggestion and feedback are welcome and please subscribe and share this channel and click the bell notification icon to get the latest in the upload. So let's see the actual learning outcome today. So now we'll be creating the order model. So this is the second model uh, corresponding to the order table that we have seen inspected. So we shall complete the creation of the order model. So let's switch over to Visual Studio. Just close this output window to get more space and right click again on the models, models folder, add class. We will call this order, order class corresponding to the order table. So if you wish to see quick recall as to the fields in the order table. So we had this order table with ID, customer ID as foreign key and description and order cost. Okay. So get back to the Visual Studio again. And here we will create a public property, a set of public properties corresponding to the each of these fields in the table field or column so pub, public um, int and this will be the id again the primary key get set and then public int this will be the customer id This will be a string for the description. And finally, the order cost, which will be of a C sharp decimal corresponding to the money in the SQL data type. Okay, so again, this will be returning a decimal type and I will call this order cost. All right. So that's all ID, customer ID, description and order cost. Okay. 